In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called transforming the graph of a rational function. We're given the graph of y equals 1 over x, and we're asked to transform it to make it the graph of y equals negative 1 over x minus 4. So when it comes to our translations, we could have a horizontal translation, and that would be where we were replacing the x with x plus a constant. That would shift things either left or right, so a horizontal translation. We could have a vertical translation where we're adding or subtracting a constant to the end of a function. That would shift things up and down. We could have a stretching or a shrinking where we're multiplying a function by some value. If that value were greater than 1, it would stretch. If it were between 0 and 1, it would shrink. And then if we were to either take the opposite of the function or plug in the opposite of x, that would give us a reflection either across the x or y axis. So looking at this function, I first notice that we have y equals negative 1 over x. Considering our original function graphed here is y equals 1 over x, this is the opposite. So this would flip our graph over the x-axis, and if I were to take the part underneath the x-axis, it would flip up. The part above the x-axis would flip down. So in red here, we have y equals negative 1 over x, but then we also need to take that function and add a negative 4. So when you add a negative 4 here, this is a vertical translation. Adding the negative 4 shifts our function down four units. So if we were to take the red function here where we've already flipped it and now shift it down four units, our horizontal asymptote is going to shift down four. So this part to the right of the vertical asymptote shifts down and the part to the left of the vertical asymptote also shifts down. So our new graph would be like the blue one here where we have had two translations one reflecting across the axis, and another that is a vertical translation. 